Working the range on this ranch comes as second nature for the Bagley family. After all, their family has been farming for more than 100 years. But this is the latest chapter for the Bagley family, a mix of elk and agritourism that's bringing people from all around the world. Some 6,000 feet above sea level, the Teton Mountain Ranch is close to the sounds of nature and the scenery of this majestic valley. And you've had people from all over the world, from India, from Europe, everywhere. Everywhere. We have almost every place in the world. Kit and Pauline Bagley are farmers here in eastern Idaho. And while the family has been working this land for decades, the wildness of the region is still evident today. we got to watch out for the bears and the the elk and the wild grouse that might jump out of the trees, but these horses do pretty good. Crops and cattle have long been a part of this farming operation, but the family decided to diversify, adding saddleback vacations for visitors and expanding their livestock herds to include bison and elk. It's really tough to farm and ranch here in Teton Valley because of the winters. And we figured we could bring in the elk, and we were looking at the recreation, looking at the trail rides and pack trips, and we figured that this would be a way that we could share this with people. They seem to be very curious animals. They're very curious. They probably like your blue shirt. They will come <laughs> and investigate. They're wonderful watchdogs. Anything that comes onto the place that's different, we know it, because we can tell by the way they act. But these animals are more than just something to see. Wild game consumption in the U.S. and abroad provides a ready market for the lean meat of animals like the elk. For beef cattle, we have to we can put a lot of weight on them, and that's what puts the fat or the marbling in the meat. Mm. The elk aren't designed that way. We, we can't force feed them so much to put a lot of weight on them. In addition to elk meat, ranchers also sell the antlers, which the animals shed naturally each year. Even the furry velvet of the antlers provides a valuable commodity. We'll sell the antler. We have a lot of market for the antler. What is it used for? A lot of ornamental. It's used for chandeliers, for furniture. This whole piece is considered the velvet antler until it, until it calcifies. So the whole thing is considered velvet antler and it is used for a dietary supplement all over the world and also it's in the U.S. It's gonna be a nice day for us today. The herds of bison, elk, and cattle, along with the natural beauty of the region, have provided a significant draw to city dwellers, looking to have a different kind of vacation experience. It was amazing. We couldn't believe it when we got to the very top, and then we went to our second location, and we saw how far we had traveled. It was mind-blowing to know that we did that much on a horse. It's great to get away from the, the, the rough, like, fast lifestyle of a city and just come out here and, you know, you can go by like four hours goes by and it feels like it's been 20 minutes you know you don't have to waste your time you can just take your time and slow down and it doesn't matter whether attorneys or doctors or whatever their way of life is to get them on a horse and get out and share this show them the elk that we have and uh, to have a school group come out and listen to the elk bugle and see the sparkle on these little kids eyes that oh that's an elk I've never seen an elk before. That, it just gives you that inner joy. Continuing an agricultural tradition is important to this multi-generational farm family, making a difference in the lives of their visitors and protecting the land they've been given. We want it to be taken care of. Uh, we take joy in seeing it looking good. We love it. It's our life.